Hey guys, um, I'm just gonna do a tutorial right now for After Effects, and this will be for doing the space scene, alright? And if you've seen my previous tutorial, it's on how to create a 3D planet, Mars, alright? Now you might be thinking, why I always do these, you know, these kind of space related tutorials? Well, to answer your question, it's because space related tutorials have a lot of techniques involved in it because it's basically not it doesn't have after effects doesn't have that many tools that can be easily applied to creating 3d planet so doing this in after effects is a real big it's a real big thing so you just need to know the techniques involved in doing that and basically after that we'll just move on to footage based effects um so now anyways we'll go into after effects and we'll start off with the tutorials so one of the best things about um, this tutorial is the fact that you don't need textures, you don't need any sort of um, uh, pictures or anything to base your effects on, it's just completely After Effects rendered. So the first thing we'll do is we need to create a new composition and we'll call the composition Gas Giant. Sorry about that. Gas Giant. We'll change the preset to HDB 1080-25. And we'll make the frame rate 25, and the duration will be 30 seconds long. Remember that. Click OK. Turn off the transparency one. Sorry, I have that on. And then the first thing you need to do is go to New, Solid. And you, sorry about this, you need to just change it, make it comp size, and you just need to get a sort of orangish, deep orange color. Just go somewhere here. That's pretty good, okay. Okay, that's good enough. Make it comp size and click OK. So you have the deep orange solid right here. And after that, what we have to do is we need to go into effects and prefects, I mean, sorry, presets. And we'll go into, we'll just type in fractal noise. And that'll bring up the fractal noise effect. We'll just drop that into there. And we'll change the fractal type from basic to dynamic twist. I guess these kind of curly. Um, fractals and we'll change the contrast to about 145. Okay, we'll leave the brightness like that and we'll go into transform and we'll uncheck uniform scaling. We'll go to scale width and increase it to about a 500. That just sort of stretches it out and we'll go into scale height and reduce it to a 50. It kind of compresses it to give those sort of bands you know, that you can see on uh, Saturn. Okay, and we'll change the blending mode. Um, to soft light. That gives us a sort of yellowish color. And then what we'll do is um, we'll duplicate that layer. In Windows it's um, uh, I think it's uh, Control D. Yeah, but in Mac I'm not sure. I think it is sort of Command D or something like that. Yeah. So anyways, in Deep Solid, in the Duplicate, select that, go to Effect, sorry, Layers, the Solid Settings, and change the color to full orange. Keep it an orange solid. Make all the same presets, click New. And you have that. And change the, go to Transform, and change the Scale Width to about 400. Just compress that a little more. Just to give it a little variation in the textures between the steep solid and the orange solid. And then after that, what we'll do is we need to give expression controls for both of these. So we'll first go to deep solid, the deep orange solid. We'll go to evolution. I'll just set that evolution to maybe 78 or 95 or something like that. In orange solid one, I think I'll set the evolution to about same thing to anything. Uh, so we'll go to deep solid, deep orange solid, and we'll go to the evolution. And as I explained in the previous uh, previous tutorial, you gotta alt click it, alt click the stopwatch to bring about the expression controls. So you go into this dialog box right here and type in time times 20. So as I told you, that takes in the total value of the time and multiplies it by the number you give it. And that gives it an expression control. Okay, that's done for deep orange solid. We'll go into orange solid and alt click the stopwatch of evolution. And this time we'll type in time times 15. 
just to give a little variation in animation. Okay, that's good. And we'll select the orange solid one. And we'll take the rectangular masking tool and we'll just sort of cut out these bands for it. As you can clearly see in Saturn, there are these little bands. And to advise you, you create bands pretty thin, you know, not that thick towards the middle. Because when you apply this texture to the um, CC sphere, what you're doing is you're mapping it to a sphere. So that kind of stretches these thick ones out even more. And it creates a very, very bad effect. So just keep it out a little thin in the middle. And maybe you can create 10 of these or 13 of these. But try to keep it within that limit. We don't want too many bands that cover up the bottom brown part. So anyways, that's good enough. I've created 10. And then we'll create a new adjustment layer. And under that we'll go to effects. Um, I think this is in, yeah, distort. Uh, turbulent displays and we'll change the amount to 150 it gives these kind of swirls and we'll change the size to 2 and as you can see it gives us this little beautiful band rippling effect and um, that's done for the bands but right now we need to, to give expression controls for this also so now what we need to do is we need to give ex expression controls to offset turbulence and evolution. So just I'll just set the evolution to maybe 87. And I just need to tell you guys one thing. Um, my computer for some reason does not type in square brackets. I don't know whether I don't know how to type it in or the computer is not allowing it. But whatever may be the reason, it's not doing it. So what I need to do is I need to copy paste our square brackets for the offset turbulence expression control. So if you have it, if you have square brackets, I'd advise you to type this in right now. Okay, just type this in right now. I'm just giving normal brackets. You have to type in square brackets. Give in time times um time times three comma zero. These normal brackets are, as you know, square brackets. I told you my computer can type it in. Okay, this is for the offset turbulence. So turbulence, you got Alt, click, the stopwatch. Okay, and for evolution, you again got to Alt, click, the stopwatch, and you need to give no brackets this time, just time times 100. Okay, I'm just telling you to look at this because I, in this tutorial, I'm going to copy paste. Okay, so okay, done. All right, you go ahead and do it. And for the guys who can't put square brackets by themselves, I'll just go into the internet and right here in Wikipedia we have bracket and somewhere down here, yeah, here, we got square brackets. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the first one, select it, and copy. Go back into After Effects and alt click offset turbulence cut it out and paste the bracket and type in time times 3 comma 0 go back to the internet and take a, a copy of the second bracket copy that go back here it's all right it's all right just again go in here and paste it back in so that's done for the offset turbulence. That's created the expression. And now after that we need to create the um, expression for evolution. So we'll just go and alt click evolution. And as I told you in notepad, the type in time times 100. Okay, now that's given the expression. And that's the expression controls for the adjustment layer. Okay, now we just need to give this a sort of misty haze you know for a planet so we'll just go into new solid and we'll choose a completely white solid okay same presets make com size okay and what we'll do is we'll call this atmosphere or haze or whatever you want to call it and we'll go into its transform properties and go in opacity and we'll cut it down to 20% and that gives us a sort of hazy feeling that there's a cloud layer or 
atmosphere to it. Okay, so now basically we have completed the texture that we're going to use and we're going to apply to the CC sphere for Saturn. And now what we need to create is, are the rings. So we're going to new composition and we'll type in and call this ring. And we got to change the width to a thousand into a thousand. Okay. The rest of the presets are, sorry, don't unlock aspect ratio. Just uh, get all the other prefects the same because duration has to be 30 seconds and frame rate will be 25. And okay, that's good enough. And we'll go okay. So we got this and we'll just switch it to transparency mode. And we'll create a new solid. We'll call it, we'll change the color to a black. Completely black. And we'll change the width to 3 into height 300. And we'll change the pixel aspect ratio to square pixels. Make, oh shit, no, no, don't make it comp size. Because I'll just reverse everything back. Okay, just type in these presets pixels it's gonna be black and click OK and we have this line here and we'll go in dark gray solid sorry it's actually a black solid and we'll go to the scale and we'll just check off this chain here and we'll change the hundred into one hundred thousand in two hundred and that creates a sort of band right here and after that what we'll do is we'll um, we'll create We'll actually create an adjustment layer, but the adjustment layer is for turbulence. So what we'll do is we'll take fractal noise from effects and prefects and just put it in there. And we'll change the fractal type to, I think, dynamic. Okay. We'll, change, we'll keep the contrast the same or uh, let's play along 185. Along the yeah, 185 is good. And we'll go to the transform properties and... Yeah, that's all right. Just leave transform properties. Just keep on playing along with this evolution. You know why? Because every time you change evolution, it comes up with these different uh, combination of these rings. So you just play along with and choose one that you like. Uh, I'm kind of like going for minus 264 because I've got these dark bands and a white band in between. Um, I kind of like that. <laughs> so anyways, I'll be doing that. And after that, we'll go back into the effects box and we'll create a new adjustment layer. And to this adjustment layer, we'll go to effects, distort, turbulent displays. Sorry, I think, no need for that. No need for turbulent displays, we already got the ring here. We'll go to effect, um, it's still on the adjustment layer, all right? We'll go to effect and where is that? Yeah, distort. Polar coordinates, and we'll change the type of conversion from polar to rect to rect to polar, and we'll change the uh, sorry the interpolation to completely 100%, and that gives us this circle. Okay, I mean you can uh, change it around if you want, but I think it's small, don't you think? All right, so we'll change the interpolation back to a zero, and we've got a gray, uh, dark gray solid. And we'll just bring it down. Bring it down right there. Okay. And we'll go back to the adjustment layer and we'll increase the interpolation. Okay, now that's better. Right? And I think this ring is good, right? It's pretty good. It's pretty good, yeah. Let's just go back to dark gray solid and maybe increase that a little bit. Okay, so that's the ring that we have right here, and um, this is how you create the ring and the gas giant texture. And in part two, I'll be explaining you how to create the moon textures, or both the moons, and then, you know, how to kind of sort of uh, compose all the scenes together in part three, all right? So thanks for your thanks for watching this and I hope that you'll be coming along to see part two. Okay, thanks. See ya.